Ramble Bird with a look at yacht. I'm at Legacy Marine in Fort Myers. It's this beautiful, well-protected marina on the west coast of Florida. I'm here to take a look at a Sunseeker 68 Randleburg. Love that yacht, Fort Myers Legacy Marine. Well, you moved on, you moved on, you flew away, you flew away with good reason to start over, to heal your heart from what? This is the tender. It's a big tender, covered completely with a proper support so water doesn't push down on the cover. Your TNT lift is flawless. I can't see any marks on it. And there's really no marks on the hull at all. Decks, gel coat. Cause I know I'm a piece of shit and I'm sorry for the things I did. I know that I can't take it back but I'm doing my best. So I wanted to shoot the teak floor in the uh, salon. It's pretty much flawless. Really can't see anything wrong with the teak. There's a nice ice maker. Looks like a refrigerator combo over there. And outside, I'll do a full shot outside in a minute. But all the teak is all natural in exceptional shape. As is pretty much everything about the boat. It's got a nice cockpit canvas cover. Sliding doors, here's your lock. Somebody really loved this boat. So the salon is pretty much perfect. They've got inside removable sunshades, very unusual. They slide off and unzip off. But very easy to do without climbing around the outside of the boat. The forward part of the boat. The whole helm area forward is covered and protected by this material that unzips. The helm is in mint condition. The seats, every piece of soft goods are just in perfect condition, really. Um, no question this boat has been well taken care of. It's got bow and stern thrusters, electronic controls for the engine, and your autopilot, your spotlight, and your two uh, looks like a Furno and a Ray Marine system, plus your analog system up here. And so, uh, before I go in the forward cabin, I'm going to go down in the engine room, because I still have my shoes on, and uh, take some pictures down there. So you can tell that the engine room is spotless. I'm going to step down the ladder and take some shots down here now. I'm sitting in the engine room and it is spotless. Engine mounts look great. This one looks newish. This is the only one that's got a little bit of rust on it, but really nothing to be concerned about. Being generally in great shape. And the engines are in terrific shape as you can see. No real issues. There's a little uh, tear here. You might have to have that fixed. That's the first thing I've actually seen on the boat. And the same is with uh, your port engine. It looks like there's a little something going on, but not really egregious. You can just sit here without creating any problems. This is what it should look like. So you can have that stitched on if you want or something. It's pretty easy to take off. But the engines look great. You really can't see much. Generators in the middle. On this side, there's your water maker, your toolbox. Let's see if I can get around this part of the boat. And it's pretty easy access, actually. I can actually walk up and stand over here Get a nice shot of the engine on top. So I've climbed on top of the starboard engine landing here and you can see giant battery boxes. Everything's spotless. I mean there's hardly any indication of wear at all on this boat. Let's see if I can get an upper shot of the engine. Yeah, there you go. 
really a magnificent engine room in every way. Big fans over in the corner, as you can see. The breaker panels. So we're going down into the uh, cabin now. The teak floors, teak and holly floors are perfect. Carpet's perfect. The galley floors are perfect. It's a giant TV in here. And I'm going to turn the camera on and just show you how big that is. So, <laughs> I'm behind the TV and it's a big TV. <laughs> so back into the salon here, as you can see, it's got a very big four-leaf pull-out table at an angle because you have an L-shaped couch, which is great. Window covers are fine. You've got a uh, day head fantastic and you have these pull out little bolster seats so you can add other people this is a wine cooler and you've got see if this will open yep there's your refrigerator there was something here they pulled out it could be the freezer and I'm assuming they're gonna put a new freezer in there above the TV but the counter is incredible. This is your hot top surrounded by terraza. This is sink terraza. Again, this is just extraordinary. Portholes behind look great. I can't see any issues, any leaks in the portholes. And all the cabinetry looks good. Looks like a skylight cover here. I'm assuming there's two of these and mirrors up in the ceiling here. This is the VIP room, cabin forward, with easy access both sides. You can get out easily without crawling over a counter. Easy to set the mattress and the sheets. And again, the wall coverings. There's a little bit of problem here but this has to be fixed here. This, uh, all of this stuff looks like this cabin needs the ceilings done and the walls done. Air conditioner is at the side of the bed. And you got your stereo and all kinds of hookups here. USB hookup it looks like. And the private head. They keep an extra dehumidifier here, which is great. Keeps the boat in good shape. The panels are good, I, the wood is flawless. I don't see any milkiness or problem. The floor is flawless. Got a sink back here, the door is open, I'm not gonna to touch it. It's got a nice shower. So I'm walking from the master back through the salon. Now we're going to the bedroom. And again, they've got AC dehumidifier going on. It's a nice landing here, yeah, this is the master. It's a big master, full width aft. Nice couch, cigar box, makeup table, and a TV, and again, another entertainment center here. Lots of cabinets everywhere. I'm going to move forward now. There's the panel. Nicely organized, super clean. And this is your Pullman upper and lower with a small TV. So this is the guest Pullman stateroom and as you can see the wall coverings have to be redone. Part of the boat, the aft part of the boat in the master. AC is working fine, nothing has to be done with the wall coverings. But here, the ceiling panel seems fine, but the vertical panels all pretty much need a couple of nicks in the wood, which is easy to take out. This is where all the cushions are stored for the boat, the forward cushions, the back cushions, all kinds of stuff, soft goods, towels. So it's a nice storage room. So, you got so that's pretty much the boat. The stairs from the salon going out and going up. 
So it's still raining pretty good, so I can't really do some outside shots. And it basically looks flawless, the whole boat. But as far as I'm concerned, this boat is as close to 10 as you're gonna find. So there you have it, 68 foot Sunseeker Predator. I'm Randall Berg, Fort Myers, and love that yacht. Dot com. You moved on. You moved.